Hello everyone and welcome to my tutorial on 3ds Max. Today I'm going to show you how to create a low poly sword which is going to be used in game. Okay so first what we need is a good reference. I have modeled it already so I'm just going to load it. So this is how it should look. Okay, let's get the reference. So create a plane. One by one. Open the material editor by pressing the M on keyboard. Click this little square next to diffuse select bitmap and find the reference okay it's this one okay gonna work in the top of your foot it's the best for modeling the swords and I'm just gonna rotate it a little bit okay that's good now go to object properties uncheck show frozen in gray click ok and then freeze selection so you don't accidentally move the plane ok we're gonna start modeling it from a box so create a box and go ahead to modify and add some segments here one for height you will see later on for that for what is that one and length okay it should be enough and one for right okay now convert it to an editable poly press alt x to see through the object, select vertices by pressing 1 on keyboard and let's adjust this box to the shape of a sword. It's very easy. You need more polygons like here I might need one just select the edges and select those uh, those edges where you want to add the polygons and click connect okay So something like this. Okay, now we have the shape. And to make it look like a blade, go to side view port and select these edges here in the middle. And just scale them out a little bit like this. Okay. 
it's better to connect these edges than to leave them just like this. Oh shit, it won't. Okay, never mind on that. Just I'm gonna scale it a little bit so it's not so bad. It's not. It doesn't look like a sword yet. Okay, select uh, those middle vertices and just scale it just a little bit. So we have some kind of shape. Okay. So that should be the plate. Okay, now this part here. I'm gonna start with the box again. Alt X, convert it and just adjust it to edges like this. Because it's a low poly model, it doesn't doesn't um, doesn't need to be so perfect. So just something like this for now. And later on, you can add details if you want. But if it's used for a game, for like a MMORPG game, it should be as low poise as possible. And yeah, one more thing. Press 7 on the keyboard. Now you can see the poly count here. It's around 100, which is good. So now, same thing. This one just a little bit. Okay. Um, so that's one side. I'm gonna mirror it. Uh, delete this, but this is here because I don't need them. You cannot see them. When you put this middle part, you won't be able to see them, so they're useless. Okay, just shape it a little bit. Like this. That's pretty good. So we go here, click mirror, and here you can choose the axis, which way to mirror the, the object, and press here copy. Okay, now we have this mirror here. Now uh, click attach and choose this one, attach it and select vertices and click weld and that's it they welded together okay in this middle part here will come uh, this thing some kind of uh, I don't know whatever is it so just create a box again uh, 
this, sorry. If I sound strange, it's early in the morning. Just woke up and decided to make a tutorial. Okay, so <coughs> again the same thing. Convert it to a little poly. Adjust it. Something like this. Okay, it's good. And now again. Middle vertices Big scale parts And those just, just a little bit Scaling here and that's it Okay, now we need a handle. This is gonna be really easy. Just create a cylinder and keep in mind it's gonna be used in game. So we want as low as possible poly count. Six segments is enough and here we will need, let's say, two and one here. Convert it to poly. Click rotate and click angle snap tool because it's gonna rotate the object by five degrees. Five, 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 five until you get very one. So it's a really cool thing. You can rotate. To uh, very precisely. Okay, select these polygons here. You won't be able to see them, so just delete again. And again, all it takes to see through. Just scale it a little bit. Okay, now again I want to read as much as possible polygons, so I'm gonna click target weld and weld this, we don't need them, because it's not very detailed model, and now just move this one like this. And that's it. Okay, now we can unfreeze this and delete it as we don't need it anymore. Okay, now make sure the items are in the same level. In the side view of both, just adjust these lines, these middle lines, like this, and this one here. Okay, that's good now. And Tweaking here again, uh, scaling and things so it fits perfectly. Ok, 
scale, I definitely have to scale this one. We select this one, this is here, and just make it like this, and maybe this as well. That should work. Okay, that's it. We have a sword. In the next tutorial, I will try to cover the uh, UVW unwrapping and texturing the sword. Thanks for thanks for watching. Hope you managed to follow this tutorial and subscribe, rate, comment, whatever. Bye.